Day three has emerged here at Glastonbury and the sun has returned and uh, maybe it's something to do with Paul and Ian being here. <laughs> Roll to Marie. Welcome to Glastonbury, gentlemen, and 120 minutes. Thank you. Now, for yourselves, a, a, an act that's kind of hard to place in some ways. I mean, when I first heard about you, it, I was told you were going to be like a sort of fitted into the ambient sort of area of music, uh, almost new age. But then you wouldn't say you're kind of the orb territory or the electro territory. It's more, what would you call it? Um, well, I think we've always been quite keen to um, kind of bypass those categories. I think you know people like the orb and things like uh, new age music were applied to the album because there was nothing really at the time that first um, album came out or the second album that came out over here. Uh, there was nothing really to compare it to, so people did um, you know say it was like the orb. It had those new age trappings. I mean, we, we never felt very comfortable with that anyway. We just mm. kind of let it ride really. Mm. Um, we think there's a lot more to it than simply uh, any kind of techno doodlings or new age um, you know, waffle. You know, I mean, I think as was evident today, you know, the actual played acoustic element to our music is very important. You know, it's not strictly machine generated, and uh, I mean, just by the people and the instruments that we got involved today. You know, I mean, there was accordion, there was flute and sax, and things like that. I mean, that's uh, I hope unusual for the uh, yeah. the people here today. So when did it all begin? How did you? Both meet up. You were in a group before together, is that right? Or am uh, I wrong on saying that? Yeah, we were in a group in the sort of mid '80s called a Primary Industry, and we just did we did a, an album and a few singles. Um, but it was fairly so part time. It wasn't. We didn't really take it that seriously, and just that kind of chugged along for a while. And, uh, split up for a while. And reformed the two of us as Ultramarine. Uh, the first Ultramarine record was uh, an album we did in '88, I think. Yeah, 80, 89, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll talk a bit more in a moment, but right now we're going to see you on stage, Ultramarine. Super duper. Mm -hmm. Ultramarine there on stage, and we were just talking about the fact that you've, well, been working together then as Ultramarine since 1988 as a thing, um, but is it primarily you are considered you are considered Ultramarine and not the other people that we see on those stages? Yeah, is the, the, the band is the two of us, um, and we have two people uh, permanently in the live band: Paul Johnson, the drummer, and Simon Kay, who plays keyboards with us. Um, and when possible, we like to draft in other people. Yeah. Um, we had two people playing today: Jimmy Hastings was playing flute and sax. Um, he, 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 he was in. Yeah, he, he used to play with Caravan and occasionally with Soft Machine and people. Um, and we're a big fan of you know those sort of bands. And uh, you know we, we were aware of him through that. So we just got in contact with him. Um, and a guy called Jim Ratigan was playing accordion, who uh, plays in the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, French horn. So uh, he has a sort of uh, a varied uh, musical life. Yeah. For yourselves, uh, do you, do you, would you consider yourselves more of a, a studio-based project or? really much a, a live performing act? Um, I think because of the way um, that we write the material, I mean, it is um, first and foremost, you know, this kind of the sound does come together in the studio and then, you know, we do have to like, have a serious rethink about how we're going to play these songs live and one way obviously is to draft in these extra musicians so that, you know, the sound, um, you know, we can re recreate as many sounds as possible and uh, hopefully, you know, beyond that, you know, add some excitement for ourselves as well. I mean, getting Jimmy Hastings here today, I mean, he was playing on some tracks he's never heard before, you oh. know, he's that much of a kind of, you know, jazz pro, I mean, he, he hears a few bars and he goes away, you know, right. he's... Uh, which just make it special for you as well, as you're saying. Well, yeah, I mean, just again. keep hearing all this sound, and it's, uh, yeah. you know, it really is a treat. Right. Well, excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, let's just say. And uh, we're going to go back on stage now and see a bit of that sound. Ultramarine. 